Hello Kids Arts. I'm Elijah, also known as Elijah the Cup Guy. So today I'll be talking just a bit about how I see myself as an artist, as well as my own medium and the art that I create. So for the longest time, I really didn't consider myself an artist. I didn't really know what that meant, but growing up, my siblings were very talented in ways that I traditionally thought meant creative or artistic. They were good drawers or painters or could write music and play music very well. Me, I just like to build stuff and I like to create things. And looking back now, I see that the process, whether you're drawing a picture or building a robot, it's kind of the same thing. It's a creative idea that you then have to make happen. So for me, I began to realize what my own artistic avenue was as I created things and used three-dimensional objects to create kind of the vision that I had in my head. And cup stacking has been the perfect example, at least for me, um, to discover my own artistic stance. I had probably been an artist for a long time before I actually realized in my head that I was an artist. Um, whenever I would make those things as a kid, I was already an artist. Whenever I was first learning how to stack cups, before I was even good at it, I was already an artist. And so I think realizing that now really gives me a firm stance in my artistic self and realizing that it's a process and it's a journey um, but that is the art itself, you know, realizing and discovering as you're creating, I think that's the important thing about being an artist. While I've worked on a lot of different mediums or different types of art, cup stacking has probably been the one I've spent the most time on. I've been stacking cups for over eight years now. Um, but the cool thing is, it's grown so much since I first started. Whenever I first started with only a few cups, being like a hundred, um, you know, I did very simple objects, you know, just a triangle or just a very simple, um, like, curved design. But now I can create animations in the cups or I can stack a, like a 14 foot tall design or image or put lights in them. You know, it's the process that really drives me. And that's why I'm still doing it eight years later. So I think the artistic process is something that I very much value. Not so much just creating art, but actually enjoying the full um, journey to the end product. You know, whenever I am gonna make a design, I first have to map it out in my schematic. And I have to make sure that is right in order to have a good blueprint to actually make it in the cups. And that could be even a week or more I could design it before I actually stack it. Um, and you know adding other elements as well whether i'm going to coordinate how i'm going to knock it down or whether i'm going to have a very specific way it's viewed you know that's important to think about as well cups are a very specific medium you know i can only work with this cylindrical object that is open on one side and flat on the other and they stack in pretty particular ways but even working with that very rigid design you can still create so many different things and that's kind of what I love about it there's always a new idea I can work on or something massive I can create that's different than what I did before and I think that is probably the fun of art in general you know nothing is ever exactly as you had before or exactly what someone else has done it's always a little bit different um, and that adaptability I think is very important because for me as a cup stacker I have to realize that oh the stack is getting unste unsteady I need to maybe avoid this area and add more to a different area of the piece or you know this image isn't exactly look looking how I wanted it but maybe if I tweak an a few other things it can, be some can become something entirely new um, and so I think that's a lot of fun and you have to be ready for that um, the same goes with patience, especially in cup stacking, but in many, really almost all art forms in general, you have to have some patience with your piece. Um, you know, I'm stacking thousands of cups at a time, and I have to have the patience to place each one of those. I can't place 10 at a time, 
I can't place two at a time. I have to go one at a time and make sure I'm putting each one in its proper place. Or at least in a place that will have some potential. Overall, my process has come such a long ways. And that's why I want to encourage you all, as you continue to find your own artistic selves, to keep it up. You know, have fun while you're doing it. I still love stacking cups, and that's why I'm still doing it even eight years later. Um, I think as you're trying new ways to create art, whether you're making music or making um, fun dances or either making a physical representation of art, you know, in drawings or paintings, um, keep up that creative spirit because I think creativity will serve you well in the art world, but also just in general. Um, if you can be creative whenever you're trying to solve problems that you experience in day-to-day -day life, um, then you can have some really novel and interesting solutions. Or you can find new ways to approach simple tasks that make it more fun. Um, and so I would encourage you all to always keep that creative spirit, um, really in anything. Have that be a lens you see the world through a creativity um, perspective. Because that will always make um, life more interesting but then also you can get stuff out of it that you never thought you would. Uh, I just want to thank you all again so much for the opportunity to talk to you all and to stack for you all. Um, I love seeing what you guys are doing up in Boston and I can't wait to see what more you guys continue to create um, and produce. Thanks! So